talk about i want to speak about no jumper no jumper coolest freshest podcast in the world i'm a big fan of no jumper big fan of one of the you know a few of the shows on their monday show disconnected um the no jumper show in general i love everything they do good podcasts great 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 one of the standout stars obviously on no jumper is house phone and house phone has got a show that he does called disconnected with a few other of his lads and his friends on there potlord blasi and yuri and for the last few weeks he's been missing from the show and a lot of people have been hypothesizing especially the people on the no jumper reddit which i'm a part of gang gang right um they have been hypothesizing that maybe he's been going on coke binges getting liquored up um hanging out with his you know um of bunnies and whatnot and just not doing what he's meant to be doing in terms of abstaining from all that stuff because of all these health issues that he has and i didn't believe it at first i thought nah no way he'd do that he's mom just unfortunately passed away that would be the worst way to kind of honor her flipping memory and it's not something that he wants to do anyway because he's already struggling with it prior to her passing and he has his own issues with substance abuse blah 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 i was in that kind of naive head of thinking about stuff and then out the blue out of the blue some some nerd on the flipping no jumper subreddit decided to flip in dm one of um house phones uh ladies that he's basically traversing around the streets with and she spilled all the tea and basically revealed that this guy is addicted allegedly to nos which is nitrous which i've spoken about the other day right um helium the balloons and all that shit and flipping coke which sounds like a crazy combo crazy combo to have on a night out to be banging out lines and also be on flipping nitrous on your own in a room somewhere with some girl it just sounds like a horrible night to me personally you know i'd rather just do the coke itself with some with some beer but not the nitrous as well that sounds like some crackhead stuff which is you know not really something to make any sense because drugs are drugs but hopefully you get where i'm coming from so this is some screenshots that they shared of the dms between this no jumper fan and this girl who's allegedly linked to a flipping what's his face with no with house phone and you have here um various missed calls and him kind of checking up on her and it says um the night of the show when i left his stupid ass and i have screenshots of him getting the gun and me not giving him a hard time it's all a lie what the fuck what the fuck how can someone just lie like that wow he said he's a delusional world drug addict behavior he lied on me damn is he still using look at this flipping narc of a person he said some episodes back on disconnected that he's clean now but girls in his life push him to do drugs um, and they do it also he says yes he still uses he's addicted to coke and whippets what's it with you guys in america and suddenly being addicted to whippets i know we have our issue here in the uk too i've said before there's a girl that got paralyzed by it but why do you guys like whippets so much it's such a crappy high it lasts for like 45 seconds the sound is annoying like i don't know like what is it what is it about whippets that get people so excited about it it's like for me i find it similar to like shisha you have it a couple of times and it gets like shisha makes me a bit queasy i get a bit dizzy the smell is nice after but it's just you know whatever I, I, i'm not going to be i'm not going to be smoking the shisha like some flipping um dominican in new york do you know what i mean just like on the side of the street just like puffy because maybe it's a cultural thing but i just never got the whole whippets and shisha thing ah okay people exactly uh thank you algorithm for just being um straight to the point and kind of you know clearing up all my nonsense naivety you, you made a great point there it's cheap and it's a dirty high basically that's it if you've got no money or you just want to be a, get a little bit loose and you want a cheap high you can bang that out because how much are the canisters like 10 bucks if that so clearly it goes a long way to kind of getting a bit high on it so it makes sense oh wow really i didn't know that sleeping buddha steve was hooked on whippets i didn't know that wow who just said don't hate the play hate the game <laughs> the whippets and coke flipping um synergy i never thought i'd see that sort of stuff bruv and like i said before the first time i saw someone take a whippet to the face was gunner the rapper when he was just like toking it in his mouth i was like wow because i've always seen it especially in the uk we always use it with um with 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 fucking balloons that's how you do you suck on them in and out in and out and then you get a little bit oh head high ooh. but it's like it's fucking shit after a while um and then it continues the text exchange you know someone's it all caps you know they are angry it says then he saw me and was like what the fuck you gonna get yourself a shot 
but not one for me. I was like, I never got a shot of alcohol. There were empty bottles in the room. Then he kicked me out backstage, closed the door on my face, and then I waited during intermission and left. I had already planned on leaving, period. Okay, this has happened, I guess, during the live show of No Jumper. It continues. Um, did you post on Reddit? Uh, so she's not even worried that the, her DMs got shared. She just wants the clout, which is fucking hilarious. And I'm not his girl. I never said I was his girl. He just likes to tote me around because I make him look good. He knows I'm not his girl. I never ever claimed him today in my life. Why does it even matter? Stressing that you're not his girl when you're still going there, getting piped, doing the line or two. It's fucking weird. People, these, these kind of people that hang around people are also a bit of enablers, to be honest. He is a selfish, narcissist, arrogant loser, and a highly addicted to whip. It's why he's got a different distorted perception of reality i have screenshots too of everything he said oh these kind of people man it's already hard enough getting high and being comfortable because it makes you paranoid so imagine being with somebody who's kind of recording and noting down everything that you do taking screenshots like this is the worst type of company you ever need to have on a night out and then of course somebody posted a compilation of all the text messages too here on youtube on quickly play Oh, it's a lot of flipping texts in. I'm not. Am I going to read all this? This is fucking a lot of shit. What does it say here? That you got up to nonsense stuff, right? Oh yeah, we're clearing up shit. I dipped uh, at the show. Went to Detroit. I have money to. He didn't send me home. Now nah, you'll know the truth. Stop playing with my fucking name. I have all the proof. Nigga blew my phone up, crying, thinking I went missing. <laughs> uh, house phone man. What are you doing, brother man? Well, it contradicts then he straight he straight up lied that's crazy basically that's one conclusion that we're getting from this house phone lies a lot but i think this is also if i'm not mistaken for people in the chat who know better i think this is a common thing with um with what should call it with addicts right is the lying if i'm not mistaken the constant lying of things no i didn't do that i didn't do that only a little bit only certain, that's like a common thing with with addicts isn't it right so it's, a, it's it's looking bleak for the guy man and i like him as a house phone but jesus man so he was begging to have you back yes he didn't send me home it shows okay this is the text that we just saw let's continue jesus christ look at that look at you all guys should be wary of dating a girl that has a screen background of themselves in lingerie you should always be wary of a girl like that always be wary of a girl who has the background image of her phone of herself in lingerie or just a selfie of herself in general that's always bizarre if it's with a family member or nephew or niece or whatever cool but just a lot a picture of them half naked in lingerie be worried be very 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 worried <laughs> monte are <laughs> you he was off that shit in it any text at 3am is never gonna be oh, god almighty it continues like the screenshots he's a delusional world drug addict he lied to me okay this text is a lot uh okay cool and this is the first text I didn't read here. About him saying I tried to keep his gun. Let everyone know that I dropped his clothes off at his friend's restaurant and they were putting it in his mum's car. They didn't even, they didn't want to take, take phone's gun. So I dropped the clothes off and then let the phone pick up a gun next day. There's guns involved. There's whippets and coke. Girls who have their own pictures of themselves in laundry and background. Like, oh my God, what an absolute mess phone is all cap he thinks uh buying a one-way flight to new york is a big balling and i left new york because he picked a flight with me saying he refused to book me a flight home so i'm not about to be fucked up um let him to get stuck there him trying to pull a pound oh my god this girl sounds like a nightmare okay is that all, is it is that the texas yeah i think that's it that's the that's the final oh, what's the end of it what's the end power move on me okay cool it doesn't really matter but anyway and in the end in conclusion it looks like house phone is back on that shit unfortunately and all the times that he's been missing the no jumper show or sorry disconnected and no jumper show obviously partly was to do with his mum passing away so r.i.p to her and my thoughts and feelings go out to him and his family but clearly from before that anyway he was always on the shit so that was the thing he was just able to hide and conceal it better and which is really a sad thing because the guy is super talented and really good at podcasting clearly he's a good personality but he just can't get out of his own way and 
I always surmised anyway, when he started doing really well and started to sell a lot more of his shoes, the high rollers, which are really nice, um, I knew it was going to be trouble for him. I knew because he was making too much money for somebody that's got an addiction, from somebody that likes to party and stuff. You know what I mean? Like now you can suddenly, because he always struck me as somebody who didn't buy his own drugs. You know, the kind of guy that's always asking for a line, asking for a bump. So now that you're making actual good money, you can actually buy your own eight ball. It suddenly starts to become a little bit concerning. Do you know what I mean? It starts to become a little bit concerning really really concerning and i know i've seen people and i know you know i've had my episodes where i've kind of gone on flipping crazy binges and whatnot and the only thing that's really stopped me from going extra crazy is basically not having the money to keep going right or having responsibilities just having a job or having to meet somebody i mean those are the things that basically stop me from going crazy but if i had a influencer type lifestyle where i was a public figure or a content creator full time and i was making money hand over fist and had additional issues oof, it'd be flipping crazy on those streets you know what i mean crazy on those streets so i can only imagine what the guy's going through but at some point someone's gonna have to put him out of his misery when it comes to no jumper someone's gonna have to kind of pull the plug on it because god but then i don't know if maybe some of the guys that no jumper think if they pull the plug on him it'll mean we have more free time then you might get more fucked up but it's not really their responsibility the guy's a grown man he should be able to take care of himself at this point um especially now considering you know he's basically the the main sort of kind of figurehead for his family you would imagine right now that his mum has passed away or whatnot but jesus man this is crazy 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 because it proves that the whole time that he was saying he was off stuff and wasn't doing anything when he got kind of confronted and he had that intervention it was all capping it he was just saying it to appease people which makes sense people that are addicted always kind of do that sort of stuff in it when you corner them they'll usually kind of just say what you want them to hear and whatnot um yeah so pretty sad pretty bleak but hey what can you do in it what can you do hopefully he gets it worked out and stuff because i still like him on the show but if he doesn't get it fixed up then they need to probably move on and let him go and do other things because it's not going to work out but anyway moving on 